Welcome back and thank you for joining me once again as we journey through the Proverbs. Let's see what Proverbs 15 has to say. So let's dig right in as we highlight some of what chapter 15 has to say. In some of the previous chapters, we discussed the importance of putting a guard on our mouth. Being able to hold your tongue can make a difference between life and death. The Bible cautions us about being careful with our words because they can fill others up or tear them down. A gentle answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. The tongue of the wise adorn knowledge, but the mouth of the fool gushes folly. The soothing tongue is a tree of life, but a perverse tongue crushes the spirit. The lips of the wise spread knowledge, not so the heart of fools. A hot-tempered man stirs up dissension, but a patient man calms the quarrel. There's definitely a choice to be made as we can see from the verses here. We have to be careful how we answer to others and how we speak to others. Or we can choose to be a hot-headed person, a hot-tempered person that stirs up a fight. Now let's see what chapter 15 has to say about the righteous and the folly. As we learned from some of the previous chapters, there are blessings that comes with being righteous. And there are curses and hardship that comes into your life for being a fool. So let's see what it means to be righteous and, in comparison, what it is to be a fool. The house of the righteous contains great treasures, but the income of the wicked brings them trouble. The word says the Lord detests the ways of the wicked, but he loves those who pursue righteousness. The path of life leads upward for the wise to keep him from going down to the grave. Let's see what the word says about those that seek knowledge. The discerning heart seeks knowledge, but the mouth of a fool feeds on folly. Plans fail for lack of counsel, but with many advisors, they succeed. The fear of the Lord teaches a man wisdom, and humility comes before honor. It's definitely important that we seek the wisdom and knowledge of God so that we are not considered a fool. What does God want us to know? One of the things that we should know as we learn from chapter 15 and from some of the previous chapters that we must be cautious of the words that we speak. We must refrain from using idle words and being so quick to speak. As you can see from the verses, the Bible makes a clear distinction of the importance of how we not only speak, but how we answer others when they talk to us. So let your tongue be a tree of life. What else does God want us to know? God wants us to know how important it is to be righteous. He doesn't want us to act as fools do. God delights in those that pursue righteousness. As we've mentioned in some of the previous chapters, God wants us to be wise and to seek knowledge because a fool feeds on folly. Now, do you want to be a fool or do you want to be considered wise? That's all for now. I'm so glad that you've joined us. Until next time.